What's up guys, welcome back once again to Daily Reviews. Uh, today I'm going to do a short video, um, basically another thermal test, and I've done a lot of thermal testing recently. Uh, that's basically because I've built a water cooling loop and now I've got a few more things I can test on that and I can share them with you. Whether you find them interesting or not, I don't know, but it's for just something that I can put out there. Um, and if anyone's got any comments on it, obviously let me know. Um, so you may remember on the last video I did, I showed you how to water cool a GPU, or well basically how to install a, a water block to a GPU, uh, basically a general guide, uh, depending on obviously what, what GPU and block you've got, depends on what, how it would go. Um, but it was basically a general, general guide. Um, so uh, to put that into my system, then obviously I had to drain the loop as it was, as it was just calling the CPU to start with. Uh, so basically when I drained the loop, I saw that it was a good opportunity to basically do another test. Uh, so what I did was whilst that was drained, um, I wanted to do another thermal test for the CPU but using something different. Uh, and basically what I did was I removed the old thermal paste uh, and then I put some new uh, thermal grizzly liquid metal on it. Um, just to see like what all the hype was about basically. I'd heard that it basically gives uh, massive temperature reductions um, as compared to thermal paste. So I thought I'd check it out for myself, take you guys along for the ride. There probably is already videos out there doing this, so I'm, I'm sure there is. Um, but I thought I'd do it myself and why not take you guys along for the ride whilst I do it. So like I say, I clean the CPU off, take the film paste off, clean it with alcohol, isopropyl, and then basically applied my liquid metal. Uh, and then I ran some tests just to see basically what the difference would be. So anyway, let's get straight straight into it. It's going to, like I said, it's going to be a really short video. Um, we're just going to see what what the results are, and I'm just going to display them to you using some graphs on on on, on the screen. And uh, obviously, talk to you about them as I do it. So like I said, let's get straight into it. Obviously, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please, if you haven't already. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Let me know why you did or didn't like it in the comments section below. It all helps. I'm always happy to hear your comments. Um, if you have any other ideas for videos that I could possibly do, obviously leave those in the comment section below. I'm always happy to hear new ideas. I'm always happy to uh, basically research anything that I might be able to do. But anyway, let's get into the results. So obviously the first test that I always do on these thermal results is basically what it idles at. And I was about 25 degrees ambient temperature in here um, when I did these tests. So I'll uh, give you basically a temperature above ambient as well when I do it so you can see. Um, so with the idle test, um, as a standard thermal paste that was on, I believe I used the Alphacool thermal paste that was on it that came with their all-in-one, sorry, not all-in-one, their custom loop kit, um, which I also did a video about, which I'll leave in the description at the top. Um, uh, basically 29 degrees uh, on thermal paste and 29 degrees on liquid metal. No, no big difference at all there. Um, well, no difference at all, should I say. Um, so basically didn't really do anything at idle. So I was a bit, when I first saw that, a little bit disappointed. I was thinking, is it actually doing anything better? Um, obviously, then I went into testing it further, putting some load onto the CPU and um, to see how it handled. And it basically shows to me that obviously it can absorb the heat a lot quicker at idle. It's just at idle, it's doing it's that's the temperature it was sat at. Um, there's not really much heat to take away from. It's not going to get much lower. But I'll, um, when you put some load onto the CPU, then the liquid metal seems to remove the heat quicker than the or more efficiently than the thermal paste. So I did, um, I normally do the same tests on most of my tests as you've probably seen in my recent uh, previous videos. Uh, I do Unigen superposition uh, and put it in 1080p high to put more load onto the uh, CPU rather than the GPU because obviously that's what I'm testing is the CPU. And on thermal paste we were on, we're at 50 degrees average, uh, 25 degrees over ambient. And with the liquid metal, we came out 46 degrees. Uh, so that's, what, 21 degrees over ambient. So not bad at all, actually. A four degree drop. I was quite happy with that. It is an improvement. And then I went on to uh, TimeSpy again, which is another test I use quite often. Uh, and I just did a CPU test on this because it stresses the CPU quite well, I believe. Um, cause you can see the temperatures go up quite a bit, so it's doing something. Um, and then basically, so that came out at 59 degrees on thermal paste, which was 34 degrees over ambient. And then, uh, sorry, is it 34? Yeah, 34 degrees over ambient. And then uh, on the liquid metal, it was 48 degrees average, um, which was only 20 three degrees over ambient so quite a big difference there and uh, what we're looking at we're looking at 11 degrees 11 degrees 
on average over that test is pretty substantial. Uh, I honestly didn't expect it to perform quite that well. But anyway, from there we then decided to move on to Cinebench, which obviously stresses the CPU even more, uh, gets more, gets it a lot hotter than the other tests, uh, and see what the result came out there. Um, and on thermal paste we're at 64 degrees average, not bad at all. And then on liquid metal we're at 55, so again another 9 degrees drop um, from over the thermal paste. So that's absolutely massive drop there. So as you can see, it does do quite a lot. So that's basically it. Like I say, it was a really short video today. Um, just to get some information out there, show you what you can do, whether it's worth buying liquid metal. Um, the big downside of liquid metal, uh, from the research I've done anyway, is that you pretty much have to replace it every year. So it can be a bit of a pain. If you've got a warp on a loop, it is going to be a bit of a pain. Um, you may be able to lift your CPU block off and, and do it without draining or anything. But some people won't be able to, especially if you've got hardline tubing. Luckily, I've got soft, so I might be able to do it without actually um, draining the loop next time when I come to refresh it. But that's the only downside, really. Um, obviously, also with liquid metal, you need to be careful you don't get it on your motherboard or the surrounding components um, because it is electri electrically conductive as well. So it is going to damage things if you get it on. So you just be really careful with it. So definitely apply it when you. Your motherboard's lying down, don't try and do it while your PC's standing up, uh, otherwise you're just going to ruin everything and it's not worth doing then, obviously for a few quid. Um, so yeah, that's it basically guys, um, definitely recommend Thermal Grizzlies Liquid Metal if it's something you're able to do or if you're basically, if you're happy to do it and you're not scared about ruining anything, or you, just as long as you're careful you'll be fine. I definitely recommend it, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's kind of a bit of review, I suppose, um, on just how well it performs, and I was blown away by the by the results I got. But anyway, guys, that's it. Like I say, um, like I said before, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it, uh, and again, comments in the section, in the comment section below are always appreciated. Um, I like to hear anything you have to say, um, and I will always do my best to get back to you. Um, so. Cheers guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.